If you want to use pitch correction to tidy up your vocal performance or go all out and add some crazy auto-tune effects, GarageBand has a really simple built-in auto-tune plugin. In this video, I'll show you how it works, plus I'll show you a couple of free to download alternatives if you want something with a bit more control. GarageBand's built-in pitch correction isn't fancy, but in most straightforward situations can absolutely get the job done. To find GarageBand's built-in pitch correction, first select the track you want to apply it to, then click on the Editors button to open the Editor window. In the Editor window, you can select between two different tabs, Track and Region. Track is the tab you want, and you'll see the pitch correction options appear underneath it. The first thing you need to do before adding pitch correction to your vocal track is to identify the key of the project you're working on. The type of automatic pitch correction that GarageBand uses will attempt to correct a wrong note to the nearest correct note in the key that your project is in. So if you don't set the project key correctly, the pitch correction will attempt to correct the wrong note and things will end up sounding a bit weird. There's ten hand spans between us It feels like so much more Tonight If you don't know the key of your project, a really quick and easy way to figure it out is to open up a software instrument track, open musical typing, and sort of hunt around until you find a note that sounds just about right anywhere in the song. There's ten hand spans between us It feels like so much more Tonight The C is the tonic here, so the project is in the key of C. To change the key signature of your project, click on the LCD at the top of the screen to open a menu where you can switch to different key signatures. GarageBand defaults to C major, but you can change the key of your song and whether it's major or minor here. With that done, you can either record vocals with pitch correction applied to them or apply the effect to your recordings after the fact. Personally, I always record a clean version of a vocal track first of all, and then apply auto-tune and any other effects to it after the fact, but you do what works for you. Alright, that's how GarageBand's stock pitch correction works. Here are a couple of free to download alternatives. Definitely a step up from GarageBand's single pitch correction slider, but still incredibly easy to use. Spot On by Developer Sixth Sample is a great option for those looking to take a bit more control over their auto-tuned audio. The plugin utilizes a simple plug and play workflow, really. Just load it up as a plugin on your vocal track, and pitch correction will be applied as soon as you move the amount knob. If the resulting vocal is too auto-tuned and robotic sounding for your taste, you can use the speed knob to make the pitch correction sound more natural. There's ten hand spans between us It feels like You can also use the keyboard at the bottom of the interface to define the scale. This will ensure that pitch is corrected to the notes that fit your song. There's ten hand spans between us It feels like so much more Tonight There's ten Holding the command key on your typing keyboard allows you to actually select a scale and whether it's major or minor. There's ten hand spans between us It feels like so much more Tonight Spot On is a great middle ground between GarageBand's basic built-in pitch correction option and the more advanced plugin we'll look at next. This is M Auto Pitch by developer Melder Production. 
M Auto Pitch gives you a lot more fine control over how you apply pitch correction to your vocals than either of the previous two options. There is an in-depth manual for this plugin that explains every single knob, switch and feature. I'm not going to cover everything here as I don't want to bore you to tears, but I will put a link to that manual down below the like button if you like the looks of this plugin and want to check it out. For now though, here are some of the plugin's standout features and controls. The depth and speed knobs act as kind of the equivalent to GarageBand's single slider. The depth control defines how accurate the output should be. With 100% depth, the output usually sounds machine-like, but exactly in tune. Ten hand spans between us. There's ten hand spans between us. There's ten hand spans between us. With lower depth, the plugin tolerates more deviations and your vocal will sound more natural. There's ten hand spans between us. There's ten hand spans between us. It feels like so much more. And the speed knob controls how quickly the plugin adjusts when a note has been changed. Higher speed makes the results immediately in tune, but can cause those more robotic and less natural results. There's ten hand spans between us. It feels like so much more tonight. The formant shift control lets you manually alter the formant information in semitones, which generally results in no pitch shifting, but can create a number of interesting effects, like making a male voice sound more feminine. Ten hand spans between us. It feels like so much more tonight. Or reproducing that popular low or high formant sound you hear artists like Black Bear or Tame Impala use. There's ten hand spans between us. It feels like so much more You can even automate the formant changes using GarageBand's automation, which works really well. There's ten hand spans between us. It feels like so much more M Auto Pitch also comes with some really useful presets. If you've been dying to cover shares, do you believe in life after love? And let's be honest, who hasn't? This is the preset for you. Spans between us. There's ten hand spans between us. It feels like so much more. You can switch from a male vocal to a female vocal and vice versa. There's ten hand spans between us. 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 Or you can use one of the properly useful stereo doubler presets to really thicken up your vocal. Ten hand spans between us. It feels like so much more tonight. There's ten hand spans between us. It feels like so. Let me know your thoughts on GarageBand's stock pitch correction plugin and the free alternatives I've shared here down in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, give that like button a good hard slap on your way past. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And if you've got the time, stick around to watch another video that I think you'll find really interesting.